and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name's Chris Cubbage, I'm the executive editor with My Security Media. We're here at the Andy Thomas Space Foundation, the Australian Space Forum, number 14 here in Adelaide. I've got Franco Baldrini, who is with Leonardo. Franco, thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thanks to you for hosting me here. Wonderful, and welcome to Australia. You, Leonardo is a proud Italian company uh, and very well known here in Australia as well. Uh, what's Leonardo's role in the space sector? Uh, Leonardo's role in the space sector is uh, very important uh, and I think not known enough uh, in Australia and all over the world because everyone knows us for the helicopters maybe yes. that are the most famous product. But Leonardo is in the space business uh, since more than 60 years. Wow. We have uh, uh, supported the development of the space uh, activities in Europe uh, working at the very beginning uh, uh, with what would have become the European Space Agency. We have been uh, uh, supplying uh, to the European Space Agency the technologies in the electro-optics, in the radio frequency domain and in the robotic domain. And uh, our customer is today uh, not just the European Space Agency, but all the agencies around the world are using uh, Leonardo products and Leonardo services and support. And uh, uh, thanks uh, to, the, uh, to the Leonardo, let me say, joint ventures uh, that are uh, Telespazio and, uh, uh, and uh, Telesania Space, uh, we are able to offer the full package. I mean, we are able to offer uh, the, the sensors, uh, but uh, the spacecraft as well with Telesania Space and the data uh, the data processing, the data yeah. distribution through Telespazio and Egeos. So we can really cover all the needs of space, especially in Australia that is a, a, a very, let me say, bubbling yeah. world for this business. It is a big industry, particularly it's very exciting in space exploration at the moment as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe can you outline some of the technologies and competencies that Leonardo can offer? Yes, for what concerns space exploration, uh, we have a special, let me say, uh, capability in terms of uh, space robotics. Uh, we have uh, uh, developed uh, drills for uh, uh, drilling uh, comets. Rosetta was one of nice. the first uh, uh, drill that we have uh, uh, landed on a comet. Uh, on board file and then uh, we are uh, developing drills uh, for the Mars and for the lunar surface uh, and we have also robotic arms and uh, together with Thales we can again offer the full package because they can build the rover yep. for example. So this is uh, for what concerns uh, planetary exploration. Then uh, there is Earth observation that is another big topic and uh, for that one uh, Leonardo has uh, a full package of uh, sensors uh, we are on board Copernicus, that is the Earth Observation Constellation of uh, the European Space Agency. And we have radiometers, we have spectrometers, we have hyperspectral imager. Prisma is one of the most uh, high-tech uh, instrument uh, for uh, hyperspectral imaging has been developed by Leonardo. So that's really around that Earth observation, climate, uh, environmental monitoring. Uh, maybe the better question would have been, what does Leonardo not do? in space it sounds like you say <laughs> you offer the full package correct yeah, that, that's true that's true uh, i think that uh, <laughs> there are always new frontiers that Very we have to, to to find and uh, thanks to the technology that we master we will be ready for the new let me say challenges right and uh, and let's see what uh, what uh, what we can do Wonderful. Well, it's great to have you here in Australia, here in Adelaide at the Australian Space Forum. Franco Baldrini, hopefully that's my best Italian you've got today. Thanks for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Thanks a lot. Wonderful. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.